Hi there, hope you are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to move my Unraid system from one PC to another PC. That's because uh, the PC I am currently running the Unraid system on is actually a very old PC I just wanted to use to try it out. And it worked so good that I actually just bought a license and uh, kept it going for uh, quite some time. Now I've been able to get another PC. It's it's not a new PC, but it's a uh, server from uh, Lenovo with a Xeon CPU and some more memory. I just want to move my hard drives from the older system there to this new system. I have never done this before. I uh, I don't follow any guide. I have read a little bit about it on the internet. As far as I understand, it should be uh, just moving the physical drives from the old system and taking it into the new system, uh, making sure they are detected, of course, and uh, use the same USB stick, boot it up, and it, it should work. But before we do that, there's a few things uh, you should do to prepare. I'm going to show you at least what I do to prepare my system for moving. So let's just go to my screen here. So now I'm logged in to my server here. You should go to main and you should do a uh, parity check just to make sure that your drives are working and that the parity of your system is uh, as it should be. So you just uh, click this button here and uh, let it uh, run. For me it takes about, uh, I think it was about 8 hours, so I did it yesterday. And uh, it uh, looks like uh, all of the drives are working as they should, so uh, that's uh, number one do the uh, parity check. Then I would also recommend to back up the uh, flash drive you use when you boot your Unraid system. And you will find that here uh, under flash. So you just click on the flash drive and you have a button here that says flash backup. So if you click on that flash backup uh, button, it will download a uh, zip file so you can store that on your uh, computer here and uh, if your flash drive uh, gets damaged or something you can restore this to a new usb drive and it should work uh, fine so the third thing i would like to do is uh, i would go into main here in uh, log into the unraid server and go to main and i would like to screenshot the uh, setup here and doing that with Windows, you can just open up a snipping tool and uh, you can just screenshot your drives here. And uh, you can, let's say, screenshot drive setup. When I plug in my drives in a new system, they should appear in the right slot here. But if they don't do that, I can see that, okay, disk one is this Hitachi drive with this serial number and disk two is this Hitachi drive with this serial number and so on. And uh, using this, I could uh, rebuild the uh, array and uh, it's just a good thing to have a screenshot of it, uh, in my opinion. Then I would just go into the uh, Docker tab here and just click stop all. Uh, to stop all of the uh, running containers. This will take uh, maybe a minute or two. Okay, so all of the Docker containers are uh, stopped. I would also turn off auto start here so they don't start up when I boot up the new system just to make sure that nothing is interfering with the uh, boot up. It shouldn't, but I just would like, I just like to do that. Then it's just a matter of shutting down your computer, taking out the drives, putting them into a new computer and see if it works. So now I'm going to shut down the uh, Unraid server. So this will spin down the drive and do a clean power down. So shut down. So now the Unraid system is shutting down and uh, I should go down to the basement and take a look and see if the PC is actually off. And uh, I'm going to bring it up here and uh, transfer the drives and everything into a new uh, enclosure and we're going to boot it up and uh, see if it works so i'm going out down in the basement see if we can find the server here's the cable for charging my car by the way 
goes all the way out there and into the garage. But we are not talking about that today. We are going to see if we can find Android server. We have a few computers, uh, not all of them are in use. And I know it doesn't look that good here. I should redo the networking here and uh, I should tidy up these uh, cables, of course. But that's not what we are talking about today. We are talking about the Android server today. Here is the server. So uh, let's uh, disconnect the cables and uh, bring it up. So I grabbed the system. Let's see if I can get it on camera here. Let's see if we can get it here. So hard, drive, hard drives, they weigh a little bit. But here we have the old system. It's an uh, old HP system from 2011. So it's an i5, um, i5 CPU. 2400 I think it was 8 gigs of memory and yeah just a basic uh, vanilla desktop uh, office PC yeah as you can see this is a pretty budget uh, uh, friendly build so it's not that I have bought a new case or anything just wanted to make it as cheap as possible so I'm going to move from that system to this uh, uh, Lenovo server it doesn't really have room for all of the drives, so uh, I just have to be a little bit uh, creative here. And there's a room for a drive here. And I think I just have to put some drives on top of each other here. And uh, the goal is later on to actually build a, a new system with a real case, maybe a fractal design case, uh, one of the... Um, uh, newer, newer cases from Fractal Design that have a lot of uh, place for a lot of hard drives. But in the meantime, I'm just going to use this. So let's uh, transfer the drives and uh, see if this works. So now the drives are in this new case. And as you can see here, the case is a little bit uh, smaller than this one actually. But I think I was able to mount the hard drives uh, better in this case anyway. And I've been trying to do some some kind of cable management here, but it's of course difficult when it's a pre-built case like this and you don't have any anything on the back here. But uh, this is also meant to be uh, budget uh, budget friendly, so it's not meant to uh, cost uh, that much. And then you so so that way you just have to use what you have. But anyway, I've, tr I've been trying to lay out the drives a little bit uh, differently compared to the other uh, case here. So I tried to spread them a little bit and uh, keep some air between them so they don't overheat. I got some messages uh, earlier when I run uh, Unraid that uh, the drives uh, get uh, a little bit too hot when it's actually running uh, the parity check at least. So uh, spacing them, uh, I think it's uh, it's a smart thing to do. So the parity drive is uh, over here by itself. Then we have a two terabyte drive here, and then we have some space again up to the next one terabyte drive here. This drive is not used that much. So that's why I had it there. And then we have a two terabyte here, and then we also have a two terabyte there. And uh, I have uh, two 120 gigabyte uh, Kingston SSDs here. And they are connected to a, I don't remember the exact model number, but this is a, a RAID car, or a, a RAID card I took out from uh, a server I found somewhere. And uh, I configured it so uh, so it's not a really RAID card, but it's uh, just it just presents the hard drives uh, to the system without any RAID functionality. So there are in total seven uh, drives in the system and I have room for one more here. I have one more SATA connector uh, ready. And uh, my hard drive on my PC is uh, filling up. So I think the system is go going to be upgraded uh, uh, pretty soon anyway. And uh, yeah, it's a C and CPU. We'll see the model number uh, when I log into Unraid. Hopefully it works and uh, it's uh, 16 gigabytes of uh, ECC uh, memory. So uh, yeah, this is how it looks like and uh, now I'm going to fire it up and uh, see if it boots up and uh, yeah, if it works. So let's uh, check it out. 
it just booted up it found all the drives it uh, populated the drives in the correct uh, uh, slot and uh, yeah everything is working it's uh, booted up now and uh, I can see all of the drives here and uh, I can go into my shares here for example my YouTube share where I have all of my videos stored and the video you see now it's also going to be backed up there and I can go here to my PC. Let's see if I can go into pictures. Pictures, uh, stock photo, just let's see if we can just take an image here. Open it up. And yeah, looks like the files are there. Maybe see if we can uh, maybe play a video. Best CPU for music production. Uh, let's try that one. Five gigabyte file. Hi there, and welcome back. And it's if you're new playing through this channel. This is channel live where I show the best effect you and also the clock yeah, speed. Yeah, so it uh, looks like it's working. And if I see here on the dashboard, I can see I'm using the Xeon E3 1225 V5, uh, 3.3 gigahertz, uh, four core CPU and with uh, 16 gigabytes of uh, ECC memory. All of the Docker containers here are stopped, but my virtual machine here is uh, running and uh, it works uh, just uh, fine. No issues there, it started up without any problems. This is actually my, um, my virtual machine where I run something called uh, Yotta Cloud uh, Client, where it backups my Unraid server to uh, a Norwegian uh, backup service. It's actually pretty good. So I could just try to start up, let's say, start up the Plex uh, uh, container here, see if that works. The Unify controller for my wireless. And uh, it's up and running. Let's see if I can log into it. Uh, let's try it once more. Okay, maybe some uh, network issues there I have to sort out. Let's see if we can go into Plex. Plex is working and uh, yeah, seems like it's working just fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do another parity check to be sure that everything is working. And when that's done, I am pretty sure that uh, this is going to be uh, all right. So uh, I'm going to do that now. So it's true what people have said, moving the drives from another system to another system, it was, at least for me, no uh, problems. I was actually uh, expecting problems because, I mean, the PC I had uh, as a Android PC is from 2011, I think. Vanilla desktop PC HP model moved from that PC to uh, a server-based desktop PC. Didn't uh, seem to be any issue at all. So for my Unraid server, I use it to back up my music production projects, uh, YouTube videos like this, and uh, some other stuff as well. I also have it as a Plex server, and I think it works really good. The uh, PCs I have here are PCs I have gotten from uh, my IT work. They are hand-me-downs, uh, companies that don't want to use these PCs anymore. They have upgraded and they are actually just going to throw them away. And uh, this is just a good way of uh, making use of it again. I know that this is not really the perfect case for this sort of thing, but uh, again, it was free. I didn't pay anything for it, so I think that's uh, really good. But I would like to maybe uh, sometime use a fractal design case and some new parts and build a new Unraid system with uh, the drive evenly spaced between each other and maybe try to replace some of the drives because they are getting old here. So. Uh, uh, yeah, we will see in the future. <laughs> there are a lot of other computer-related things I'm maybe planning to get. So uh, we'll see where we uh, end up. At the end of the day, this is a server that is destined to the basement. And it's going to keep a backup of my YouTube videos and everything else, music production projects. And that's the main thing it's going to uh, do. I hope you like this video. And uh, if you like content like this, you are welcome to share it with others. Uh, click like on the video or that bell thing or subscribe to the channel. That really helps. And you can also check out my music. Uh, yeah, I have links in the description below to Spotify and uh, yeah, maybe some other places as well. I have some Patreon. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.